Hello guys, welcome to episode 19 of Arc Live. Um, I'm your host DPD and we got some very, very special guests here. We have uh, Arc System Works CEO Kiruka san. Hello, thank you for coming. Um, and we also have um, Junya. Uh, he's the technical director or the technical artist for uh, uh, Guilty Gear, Exert, as well as Dragon Ball Fighters. How's it going? Good. Good. Okay. Good. Kind of, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Are you are you a little jet lagged? Yeah. No. Oh, okay. Yeah. And uh, we also have Nobu, who's the the VP of production at uh, Arc System Works USA. I don't. I don't yeah. So I don't thank you guys. Thank you for coming. Um, it's a pleasure. Yeah. For, uh, first of all, I know it's E3 weekend. How how the E3 guys? I know you guys came straight from the show. How uh, how's, uh, how's the show? The, the show is exciting. I'm tiring, but exciting. <laughs> <laughs> Cool, cool. Um, so um, BB Tag just came out, um, and um, you know there's there's a lot of really positive reception so far. And um, Kidoka san um, do you have any uh, words to uh, to the fans and the players who are in, who are playing the game right now, and just to the community? あの、先週もこれ出させてもらいまして、いいユーザーしてもらいましたが、本当にありがとうございます。まあ、あの、日本とアメリカと同時に発売させてもらって、あの、おかげさまで皆さんに喜んでもらってると思います。まあ、これから
It, it's, it, it looks like you're playing an anime. It looks, it's, yeah. it's almost flawless. And I like to tell people that Guilty Gear Xrd is like the best looking fighting game, especially with the animation and just everything about it just looks super, super cool, right? And um, so, um, I don't know, maybe uh, you could tell us about like the process of turning 3D into 2D. And um, if you guys have any other inputs too, feel free to, um, to, to speak. Well, thank you very much for the compliment. <laughs> oh yeah, no, yeah, it's Guild Gear yeah. it looks, um, looks amazing. You know, yeah, it. Um, a lot of people put in a lot of work mm -hmm. to make it done, and it's not only my, you know, it's not only my thing that made it that super. We had a lot of talented um, people on the team, mm -hmm. and we worked together to actually accomplish that goal that we had in mind. Um, yeah, um, Guilty Gear or originally had uh, when it was like sprites, mm -hmm. <laughs> it already had like a goal to be like an anime at the time. Yeah, and when we made a switch to 3D, uh, we were pretty sure that uh, going to trying to represent um, the anime like um, aesthetic in 3D was what we were supposed to do. So yeah, a lot of work and research went into developing the shaders and how to make the models and stuff like that. And I've been, and prior to that, I've personally um, been like investigating and trying all sorts of methods to actually accomplish that visual and the how the and what what I came up with while I was experimenting caught eye mm -hmm. to um, be actually used as the basics of Guilty Gear yeah. I see. So um, basically we build um, 3D character models and then put on a shader to make them look um, in a 2D way. But it's just not that the shader is special. It's like um, having all the necessary uh, data and like tweaks in the models to be fed into the shader to get the right results. I see. So yeah. it's not like a magical shader that you can put it on any model and yeah, you can yeah. get a uh, to so the like look you need the model and the shader together to be in a precise matching to actually accomplish that visual so I think that's that's the big difference that we were able to accomplish this result oh and it, and it's it's beautiful Thank so you. um and and Kiruka san um so I, I you know a lot of people are are talking about like how amazing these these games look especially uh, guilty gear exert um I know even though it's a it's a 3D model with a 2D aesthetic is there any is there any plans to do a like a 3D looking game as well um, cuz I know we, we saw um well, with the, the new um, shonen jump game uh, from Bandai it's it's a uh, jump force yeah jump force yeah they um it's it's uh, it's anim it's obviously anime it looks anime but you could tell that it's 3D um you know while Dragon Ball Fighters and uh, and Guilty Gear Xrd obviously look 2D is there any plans to do 3D looking type games in the future? Or if anything you can confirm. If, if not, then you know, it's, I totally get it. We're, we're live right now. If there's any projects, you don't have to deny or confirm. まあ、あの、そういう意味では、うちの会社は格闘ゲームだけじゃなくて、いろんなジャンルのゲームを作ってて、まあ、その中でアクションゲームも作ってますし、まあ、そういう意味ではこう、あの、ギルティーだとかっ
we don't have any screen or anything, so I'm not too sure. Okay, well, I guess uh, guess we're gonna have to, because I've seen something, but uh, I, I don't know what it is. Huh? I guess you're gonna have to wait. But uh, back to uh, back to uh, 3D and 2D models and stuff. Um, I'm actually very curious. Um, so what is what is the difference between? I can I feel the chat is like. <laughs> um, so what, what's the difference between um, I guess rendering like 2D sprites and 3D it might be obvious for some people but I mean like I'm curious because you guys obviously are known for making really really quick uh, sprites in their fighting games and it just the animation is very smooth and then here comes like 3D models and it seems like you know the uh, the speed or anything hasn't changed but it just it looks so much cleaner so I mean what would be the difference between using sprites and uh, 3D models yeah, um, unlike normal um, 3D games, we don't use the 3D motion as 3D motion. Mm. So if you, for example, in a normal 3D game, you just make an animation and you run it and the animation will just flow. Um, in our case, we use we don't use animations as animations and we use like each frame of that um, animation as like a sprite. I see. I so see. it's it's... Basically, what we did was uh, recreate a 2D uh, sprite-based fighting game using 3D assets. Ah, yeah. mm. So it's it's in that in that me in that in that scope, it's a really um, truthful represent representation of 2D fighting using 3D assets. Okay, and um, so from my understanding, I mean, I'm not like a technical artist or anything, but I mean, for for sprites, you would have to animate uh, frame by frame, correct? Yeah. While in 3D, you could uh, sh sh direct the movements of the limbs and so forth, right? So, what do you think is harder to to do? What what takes more time? Well, actually, we did some calculations, and mm -hmm. it turns out to be about the same. Oh, okay, okay. So, yeah, it's it's um, but 3D has much more freedom of oh, the yeah, camera yeah. movement, while the 2D has much it's more cool. freedom of like expressing. Um, I like, see morphing and like um, adding things into gotcha, the pictures gotcha. so you can just you're moving line, everything yeah, right yeah, yeah, yeah you can just draw a line and add anything but in 3d you'll have to like plan ahead to yeah get that into the model and gotcha like, get, get the right setting a lot of for formulas it. right yeah okay instead you but in 3d you have the uh, awesome camera angles and stuff like that so mm -hmm. you get a much more like appealing um, cutscene got it got it okay and uh, kiduka san um, I, I know that uh, you said you, you. I mean, obviously, you guys make more than fighting games. Um, but uh, are you are you saying you're um, you have a lot of uh, upcoming titles in the works? I mean, um, are are we going to be hearing something soon? Okay. Okay. Because you know, and and um, you know, it, uh, a lot of people are. Like, the chat is like wondering. Hmm. Let's. Uh, what What is this? T so, um. Is there, is there, do you guys have a certain time that um, um, you guys want to announce or just pe do people just have to wait for the countdown? Any clues? Zero clues? <laughs> Nothing. You know, I mean, yeah. as much as we have exciting information to share, <laughs> we're not sure because we don't want to be scolded by all sorts of people. Gotcha, so gotcha. We'll just kind of keep it as a, well, please stay tuned kind of thing here. Yeah, so please stay tuned, okay? So, yeah, the, the words from <laughs> the president. Um, but uh, yeah, so I'll just I'll just keep, uh, throw that away for for now. Um, but um, I have a, a very important question. Um, I know uh, Zach, aka Shinny, who does all the Steam stuff. Um, he really likes, and this is a very important question. He likes pineapple on pizza. What do you guys like on your pizza? Pizza, anyway, you discuss. Oh, no, <laughs> topping. I I I personally prefer pepperoni. Pepperoni? Yeah. Like just straight up pepperoni straight only. Up pepperoni mm. or mm. cheese. Pepperoni and cheese, no, okay. The, the food for QA, QA testers. It's <laughs> the best. Yeah. Uh, well, there you go. Pizza, oh, the skin of salami. Salami? salami? Uh, pepperoni salami for the boss. Oh, okay, okay. Junior? Actually, it's kind of odd, but I like onions. You like onions? I actually yeah. like onions, too. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, like, I like vegetables on my pizza. I put, like, raw tomatoes, onions, olives, and stuff. It's... But that's just that's just me. I know. I know. Some people think like pineapple's gross, but like when I say what I like on my pizza, they're like, "Oh, dude, I don't want to be your friend anymore." But you know, and um, 
we asked uh, Kiyoko san last week at Wednesday Night Fights um, when he's in the US, what's his favorite food to eat? And he said beer. <laughs> <laughs> which is which is a good choice, perfect choice. Do you, what do you, what do you? I mean, you, you're from here, but Emily, what do you what do you what do you like? Uh, you know what? Actually, to be specific, I actually like drinking like fat tire. Uh, oh, okay. You know, all sorts of ales, pills, mm-hmm. everything. I mean, I'm a I'm not a heavy drinker, but I just it's also like, beer. Yeah, but I okay. just like beer in general. Right? Do you? How about you? Well, I don't drink at all. Oh, yeah. So all right, just like me. Yeah. <laughs> but I, not, I just drink water, so I'm. I just like staying hydrated. I don't know, about, yeah. but um, my favorite drink is iced tea. Iced tea, okay. Yeah. Any specific just, brand, like? Um, I don't know many. So okay, just just just, just iced tea, just, just nice iced cold tea, iced tea. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. what kind of food do you like in the U.S.? Burgers. Burgers. Yeah. Ah, mm-hmm. Do you like Do you like In and Out? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. All right. Does, actually, like you like In and Out too? Okay. Mm. Oh, happy. Mm. Yeah. Oh, you like habit? Mm. Oh, there's like there's a habit near my house too. That's, <laughs> that's great. Um, so um, here's a here's a question um, that we got on Twitter. We're gonna start the Twitter questions pretty soon. Um, do you pour your milk first or your cereal first? I haven't had cereals for for years, for years <laughs> but um, back in the days, I think I poured the cereals first. Cereal first? Yeah. Okay. I'm more. Well, you know what? Actually, I'm. Don't everybody just pour cereal and then milk? I mean, You'd be surprised. Really? Yeah, I forgot who who was here before. We had a guest here who poured the milk first, which I don't it's understand. A monster. Yeah, it's really? a monster. It's like pouring. It's like pouring your drink first in like one of those fountains, and you get the the ice, and then it just spills everywhere. I don't understand. But um, you'd be surprised. Some people like pouring the milk first. Uh, I don't know. That's a first for me. Uh, yeah. 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 Well, doesn't eat cereal in the first place, so. Yeah, yeah, and um, and yeah, no, no, okay, no, 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 the only reason why I'm bringing this up is because uh, um, we also have two more guests up here, Brett and uh, Beneath, who's uh, people know as Apology Man. He was at uh, the Summit of Power, and apparently he likes his milk warm in a cereal. Oh, okay. Do you have any thoughts about that? Uh, monster. <laughs> yeah, right. Who 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 eats? We're gonna have him on soon. I, I see the chat. Everyone's asking for Apology Man, but um, yeah, we'll have him on soon with with Brett. But uh, yeah, that was that was the reason why I, I brought mm-hmm. it up. Like, did, have you ever had cereal with with warm with warm milk? Mm. Nah, nah, that's disgusting. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> well, no, I don't think it'll be that bad. Depends on the kind of cereal, though. Like oatmeal yeah. is cereal, right? So, so yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, um, um, oh, let's uh, so let's get to the tour questions. So. We have a couple of them. Um, so this is from Gear Project. Um. Future question for Arc Live. Since sometimes I miss, this, will you guys ever send us English versions of Guilty Gear X Plus story, the uh, Guilty Gear novels, drama CDs, and manga, mm. etc.? We miss it a lot. Is there any plans to release them in English? ストーリーに絡む要素で、えっと、英語化されてないものがいくつかあるので、あの、ま、小説だったりとか、あと昔のプレイステーションのギルディアえっと、ゼクスプラスとかのえっと、ストーリーモードって多分英語化されてなかった
And also, yeah, Dragon Ball. Well, um, it actually, I think it'll surprise you, but it'll take like more than like six months. Six months for one yeah, character. For my, one character because wow. it has a lot of um, le- uh, lot of. Um, yeah, it has a lot of steps that you have to I see, I see. get in. So while we're making the uh, actual game, it's like spread out through like a span of a few years. So we make them like aligned um, I see. one by one. So mm-hmm. in that way, we can um, work at work with few characters at the same time and get the characters at to the. Uh, enough characters at the end of the, um, when the game's finished, <coughs> but when you start from scratch and try to get a character on, you first have to get the um, design right, and then plan what the characters do, and then uh, choreograph them. And the choreograph is done in two D, and while choreographing, we make character models, mm-hmm. and that is like the first two months or so wow, okay. and the majority of the work actually goes into animation and I animation see. takes a lot of time and effort because like we have hundreds of anim- animations when it's like a fighting game oh, yeah. so and even after the animation is done we have to tweak all the um, movement and <laughs> stuff like that and then the balancing starts I see so the actual programming in the, yeah, in the game okay yeah so it's a very multiple uh, step thing and it takes a lot of time and Oftentimes, they uh, people ask us that you know this. You you have the model for this character. Why don't you get it? Why don't you get that character out mm-hmm. earlier? The character model is like only ten percent of the workload of the actual character. Wow! So it's not it's not like getting having the character model is makes it easier. Easy. Yeah, yeah. It, obviously, it's, it's uh, it, helps, it helps, but it's not it's not like if you have the character model, the character is almost done. Mm-hmm. It's not not at all close. To wow! Okay. Done, yeah. And would this would this include like, I mean this 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 is the animation and um, creating the character and drawing it up. But like this all does this also include research too? Like in terms of researching, like um, I, don't know, I guess specific movements or like how you want something to be animated or. So sure. that that's is that done, also part of the, the six months. That's done. Yeah, that's okay. done in within the two D color graphing Got phase. It. So although we know that we need certain kind of animations, we come up with like tens or five or ten other variations of the ideas with the, uh, that specific like movement and then we choose from that to get the best results wow yeah. okay and bring me to one because we always get a lot of um I, I always see on twitter like can you do this costume version of so and so and i know it's um um for for sprites it's a lot harder because you have to reanimate everything correct yeah. so that's why it is usually for for sprites you change colors and, and so forth but like since it's 3d models would we ever expect like different, um, and this is this is I guess my question, but um, do, would we ever expect like new costumes? Since it would be easier to, for three D to do a different costume change, or is that not since it's three D to two D? Yeah, um, we get that a lot too. Yeah. Um, but um, because we do the three D in a specific way, ah, I see. and it's like repro- reproducing the sprites with three D. Okay. It's a, it's a very different work work workflow as in like normal 3D animation and normal 3D animation it's um, you can use also those uh, cloth physics and stuff mm-hmm. like that to get the movement of the cloth right but in It'll our look. way in our way in our way we just uh, animate the cloth by hand wow okay. so it's very difficult to actually change the character's outfit uh, drastically and if you if you don't change the character's outfit drastically what's the point of making yeah, a yeah. costume change mm-hmm. so Correct. it's not it's not um, it's very hard to make um, decisions um, for new costumes, but we have done a few times just for like story reasons that we had to um, change the characters. Oh, for like cutscenes and stuff, correct? And cutscenes yeah, and yeah. like um, El Felt from oh, yeah, um, yeah. Guilty Gear mm-hmm. the, um, series got a uh, shift in the uh, out- outlook, mm-hmm. but that was also not as a drastic of a yeah, change, yeah. so it was possible. But if you like want to like get um, characters to wear extra clothing that makes it very very difficult okay so because I I, I I read twitter i'm on twitter a lot and a lot of you guys always say like you know give so-and-so this costume or can we get like soul have order souls costume or whatever there's a lot of requests just know six months okay it takes a long long time you know and they they, they, they work really hard to make it look as good as possible so six months so 
Um, it, it's it's I guess yeah, it's very very hard. Um, the next question. Um, this is from uh, uh, Seven Thirty Flare. Will there be more Blaze Blue Persona Four Arena Undernight Inverse and Ruby characters after the first batch of forty characters? And I, I know I guess this is to to uh, Kiruka san. Um, and we we kind of uh, addressed this uh, briefly there, uh, last week on our episode at Wednesday Night Fights. But I guess for those who are who are wondering, I know a lot of eyes are on here today because it's E three and whatever. Um, I guess would you like to um, I guess um, re repeat or go over that again? あの、前回あの、ライスナイトファイトの時でちょっとお話にあがったんですけど、こう今のゲームを40キャラクターが全員出た後の、ま、追加キャラクターとかその他のライセンスの中でもこう参加っていうのは、ま、何か予定か考え
there's nothing there's no such thing as bad comments uh, we're pretty much open for everything so no such thing as bad comments uh, no such thing as bad comments okay yes. um okay um yeah uh, so spotify is considered well, well definitely uh like to kind of keep it in consideration okay. it's just that we haven't really thought about got it, it got that it. extent not yet okay not, not just yet yeah. well uh thank you uh Jodamide, for that question um this next question is from north nick um to mr motomura um since you've had a hand in performing the vocals, you must know the lyrics to Must Die, right? Also, can you describe the experience of recording the song? How did you feel when you were screaming the lyrics such as, When you die, where is your God? I have very vague memories <laughs> of that, um, so I'm not really sure <laughs> what to say. Uh-huh. Um, yeah, I, I was pretty shocked when Ishibatari asked me to do the um, oh. uh, song. And oh. um, well, I thought well, now or never. So I just jumped in. <laughs> nice. <laughs> bit, bit the billet, but uh-huh. yeah. Okay. Um, well, there you go. Um, the, uh, the next question is from eight hundred one underscore Jojo, and this is all. This is also a question for you. Uh, when designing elements for Guilty Gear, how often do you look at heavy metal album covers for inspiration? Uh, to be honest, not much. Ah, okay. um, it's basically Shwatari who's mm-hmm. doing that. Yeah, okay. And, I figured um, yeah, he's there. I'm not. Uh, I'm not really sure if he actually looks at the covers or he actually imagines stuff through the songs. So okay. uh, I think I'm not the one to answer that Got question. It. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'll save this question next time uh, Daisuke is is, uh, is here. Um, but uh, yeah, um, if anyone has, like, we're gonna have to op- open uh, questions to from the from the chat. We have a couple up here now, um, but um, if you guys have any questions, feel free to throw it in chat. Um, we have Gail in the back posting them up for us to, to read. So, um, first question from Evan Axel. Um, also, Ragna or Soul for Smash Ultimate? Okay, so um, one the, the biggest news, uh, one of the biggest news is from, from news is, one of the biggest things from E3 was uh, from Smash Ultimate um, from Nintendo. They uh, they brought in every single character from every past franchise, in- including uh, Ridley, and I think they added one more person. I for- oh, and uh, the Inkling girl. Um, but would there, would you ever consider adding um, Ragna or Soul Bad Guy in the Smash? あの、あの、Nintendo's <laughs> Love it if they would actually <laughs> pick it, pick it up for us. Okay, so so if so if uh, if Sakurai asked you guys, would you would it be a yes? Yes, <laughs> Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, of course. I mean, if, okay. If Sakurai someone comes and asks us, then we'd be more than happy. All right, guys. Let Nintendo know. Let Sakurai know that if you guys want Ragna and Soul and Smash, you already here first. Kyuksan is down. <laughs> to have them in, uh, so um, I like I like doing these kind of things. Um, so yeah, go ahead, let them know, let Nintendo know. Um, second question, um, this is from uh, Shadow Krosu. Um, can I ask Kiruka for must I lyrics? I think he's frozen on this one. Well, yeah, you know, actually, you know, to be honest, I mean, we'll, we'll, we'll get back to everybody on this one. I mean, the lyrics is, we haven't really thought about the lyrics portion. Okay. In all due honesty, I mean, I think this is the first time I've I've seen it. It's strange because um, so we've had a, a several Q and A's, you know, with Mori Daisuke and also Kiruka san We opened up on Twitter a dialogue, and everyone, you know, throws their questions out there. And I'm scrolling through it, and every so often, I would always find a request for the lyrics. Lyrics. Okay. So yeah, okay. there's there's a, there's a there's a lot of people here in the West who want to know the lyrics. So okay, so we know the demand. So yeah, there, there's there's some yeah. Act, I, guess. I guess that just means I have to start working. Then. <laughs> there you go. You gotta get to work. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, Shadow Crossy, thank you for the question. Um, next question here uh, from Turbo Nintendo Fan Thirty Seven. What does it What does it take to work at Arc System Works? I love the art styles they use. 
and one day want to join them. Ah, so. You know, actually, uh, the <laughs> studio itself, uh, the Dev House actually has a lot of other uh, international uh, talents that came, uh, that are working at ARC right now. Okay. So we, I guess we have uh, two guys from uh, the US uh, working there right now, one person from France, a bunch of people from the other Asian regions. So, uh, yeah, I mean, I think the only thing you really need to do is uh, send in your application, I guess. <laughs> and there you go. It's just a regular process. Yeah, there. very straightforward, guys. If you want to work at ARC, send in your applications, and hopefully you get picked. <laughs> so, you know, cross your fingers. And, uh, That'd be cool, though. Yeah. That's like the, yeah. That's, that's like the top thing. Also, I mean, I mean, look, look, look at everybody who works here. Look at Maury Dice. you got to be cool, too. And you also got to look good in a leather jacket and some shades. So, I mean, <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's, you know, that's, a, that's also a requirement. So, uh, so yeah, thank you, uh, Turbo Nintendo fan, uh, for that question. Next question goes to Kung Fu Titan. Um, to all, to everybody. Um, thoughts on E3, most surprising announcement, most anticipated game, and hopes for future games. So that's, I guess, it's a three-part question, a four-part question for all, all of you guys. So we'll start with uh, thoughts on this year's E3. We'll start with uh, Nobu and go across uh, right. to Jinya. Uh, you know, actually, E3 is was pretty good actually i mean okay. it's it's definitely everybody keeps saying you know uh stink about e3 being that you know it's all the same thing every year but when you're actually there and you get to see all the different type of games and the announcements mm -hmm. and when you're actually there physically feeling you know everybody running around the place i mean it's definitely a new experience each single time so i thought it was actually pretty exciting in itself i mean and i think my Anticipated game. Well, that's going to be answered in the next one, so I'll just kind of pass it on. Okay. Uh, what are you, what are your? <laughs> yeah. well, I mean, it was uh, it was exciting. A lot of people were there. Um, you know, even some some people who were able to get in uh, through the uh, gamers passes. Mm -hmm. too. So, uh, yeah, a lot of people. Yeah, I'm, I'm just happy to see people enjoying themselves yeah, yeah. Three and sharing the passion and like love to the games. And um, for this E3, I think um, actually being at the floor, um, I was able to actually um, t uh, play many games. And um, yeah, that was a great experience. Awesome, awesome. And um, what is your sur most surprising announcement and uh, your most anticipated game? Uh, well, I think mine is pretty much both the same answer because okay. uh, I was always I was kind of looking forward and towards uh, the new uh, Fallout game. Uh, ah, Fallout seventy six. Fallout yeah, seventy six, yeah. right? And you know, aside from uh, the fact that I got got a chance to see some of the teasers and on, on site things, I mean, definitely that was probably the biggest announcement, the one that I was looking for as as a personal fan. That okay, is, okay. Standpoint. So, mm -hmm. yeah. oh, no, no, okay, jump. Uh, Jump force. force. Oh, jump force. force. Mm. Yes, yeah. I mean, one word, jump force. Yeah, jump force. Do you see the guy who runs the company with the coolest anime titles likes the anime game? But, you know, so, but that's, that's very cool. Have you, have, you, have you tried it out? Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, didn't have the chance. I mean, I, I saw it there and there were rows of people there. So oh, yeah. There's, yeah there's we didn't have people. a chance to get in. Okay. And uh, what was your uh, most surprising announcement? Um, Personally, I'm a big Souls fan, oh. so I was very excited to see Sekiro. Sekiro, yeah. I am also a very, very big Souls fan, so um, that looks really, really cool. And also Neo too. If, yeah, if, yeah, yeah, Neo yeah. is also a very Souls-like game. I know you always hear the term Souls-like around, but, uh, but yeah, that, uh, so those two games are really excited for as well. Um, but yeah, thank you uh, so much. Oh, wait, this, um, hopes for future games. Um, yeah, last, last part of the question, uh, what, what is your games that haven't been announced that you're hoping to announce like in the future mm, you know i mean this is sort of like my personal agenda that i had <laughs> long ago before when i used to work at bandai namco mm -hmm. but i was a i was a diehard souls uh fan mm -hmm. and 
being that I had a chance to actually work on it before, I mean, I always wanted to see how f much further it can be expanded. So my hope, which is probably unlikely, is to potentially see more expansion towards the Souls uh, original game. Oh, I see. Right. Well, the, 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 the remaster came out. Right. So, you know, they have the... I'm crossing my fingers, they actually add <laughs> expansions to it so that it fulfills my personal dreams. Okay. Mm. Yeah. Now, Kiruka, any mm -hmm. future titles that you're looking forward to? I don't know. 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 僕ほとんどゲームやんないんですけど、ま、見てるとやりたくなりますよね。いろんなゲームをちょっともうちょっとゲームやんなきゃいけないなと思います。I yeah. mean, I I'm not a, I, I personally like watching people play and watching uh -huh. games, uh, but I don't really have a the time. Person, uh, I personally don't play very much itself. Oh, I see, I see. So in that sense, I mean, as a spectator, I mean, it what I what I'm looking for is more games in the future. Ah, okay. Yeah, just simply more games. Mm -hmm. Uh, future games. Um, I'm curious what uh, Death Stranding is about. Oh so, yeah. yeah, I have no. I saw no clue what it's about. It looks. It, it looks. It's like very a interesting, and I'm hooked. But I have <laughs> no idea what's going on, and uh, it makes me want to know more. Yeah, I. It, yeah. it it looks to me like it's like a it's a walking simulator. Um, from what I saw, <laughs> you walk around and then you hide from floaty things. I don't. I don't know. But uh, yeah, I'm I'm very intrigued. Um. I, I'm actually, um, my, my hopes of future games is a 3D rendered, 2D looking blaze blue. Mm -hmm. I don't, but uh, I don't know. I don't know. Let's, yeah. Let's, um, that's my hopes for one. I know there's a, you know, type, type, uh, I don't know, type five in the chat if you want to see a, uh, a excerpt looking blaze blue title. Um, so, uh, yeah. Type that in the chat. Let us know. Um, but uh, next question. Um, that was a that was a long one. <laughs> the the scumbag help line KZ um, for Virginia. Uh, when designing the sh uh, the shaders for the overall game, is the shader has to be specific to the compatible for the engine? What is the shader? Can you make sense of that? I think he's asking. Does the shader has to be specific for the engine? Oh, I see, I see. Okay, okay. Um, yeah, so basically when we uh, make shaders, um, we make the shaders for the um, engine and then also at the same time make the shaders for the actual um, 3D software that we make the games in, mm -hmm. uh, okay. the characters in. And having like the results match um, while making the character on the 3D engine, uh, 3D software, and having the same results on the game is very cru crucial for our workflow. Okay. Because um, if you don't get the right result, the same results when you're making the character on the 3D software and, and when it exported and imported into the game, if the results differ, then it's, it's very hard to get the certain look that you're looking for right. Mm -hmm. because it changes so okay you have to like match the results of the shaders got it got it okay well yeah thank you so yeah, yeah thank you um scumbag for that question <laughs> um next question is from newt link newt link follow up follow up question you say it takes six months per character but how many characters at once are you able to develop well, that's a good question um how many so it takes six months to develop one character but how many characters are you able to develop uh, simultaneously mm -hmm. Well, it depends on ca uh, it, it depends on the scale of the project and okay. um, like the last project I was working on, Dragon Ball was a huge project and oh, yeah. had like uh, five six characters at the same time. Wow! Yeah, so it's not like everything at the same multitude, but mm -hmm. we while working with other character like while finishing our characters, we always start making the new ones. So it's it's very hard to answer that, but yeah, it, it's. And also, it depends on how many people we have and how many like out outsourcing um, places we have. Um, oh, I see. Access to so a lot of variables. A lot of variables. Okay, yeah. so but, but you you would say about like five characters. Uh, five characters would be uh, quite a high. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, so no, normally I think it'll be like three or four. Wow. Okay. Okay. So um, six months. Most of the time. So yeah. six months, three or four characters simultaneously. Think about how many characters are in Exert or like Dragon Ball. That so that's how much time it takes to develop the game just, and that's just like the characters right like yeah. rendering characters and their moves and stuff so wow that's that's 
a lot of time. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, so uh, thank you, Newtling, for that question. Next question is from Justice XE. What games that you guys have created were the most difficult? Oh, so what are the most difficult games you've created? Um, I, I would also add, like, to, um, I guess, the development process. You know, maybe it, take, take, it took a while to get the rights to, or, like, I know you worked with, like, Sega before for, like, Persona 4 Arena, so, like, mm -hmm. maybe going back and forth, what, what, what was the most difficult to, uh, to produce? <laughs> Mm -hmm. Or both. Ooh, like, okay. Yeah. Um, I think Guilty Gear Exit was very hard, mm. um, but at the same time very challenging. Um, we had to. We had very high goals, but we weren't certain that what we were able to actually accomplish it. So, yeah, this vision of like three D two D. So okay. Luckily, the results even exceeded what uh, we first pictured, mm -hmm. and it went um, much further than that so that was great but um, while trying to get to that point it was very um, hard and uh, I see took a lot the of research time. and development to get to even close to what you imagined took a yeah. while right mm -hmm. but once you got it like once you finally had an, uh, something closer to what you initially imagined it was like did you exceed what you initially thought you were able to do absolutely yeah oh wow um, okay we, I had no idea it would get good, this good yeah and then like I just I just like to tell you like it just looks super cool thank you yeah <laughs> so yeah so guilty gear exit was the most hard development for me yeah. but it was at the same time it's the most fun that was the most fun because you had to come up with new ways to yeah. yeah okay and very satisfying to yeah. actually get that right awesome yeah. cool well that was, that was a very good question thank you justice xe for that um next question is from chef nana any plans on expanding merchandise on the u.s mm. side i.e mm. charms badges etc so i know like we have these um these are like pins and stuff um i believe these are in, in japan um do you guys are are you guys um planning to release a lot of stuff that's in in japan here in the u.s since you know you opened the, the u.s branch well yeah obviously uh, we're looking towards uh expanding uh the products that we have and that includes the merchandise that you see here as well mm -hmm. too so definitely we have uh we will be thinking uh, about uh, what kind of merchandise we can uh logistically bring into the united okay. states i mean there's a lot of uh, rules and restrictions you know united states rules and yeah. restrictions we have to abide by too but uh for the most part uh, we'll definitely be uh, expanding our u.s operations so in that sense uh i think it's safe to say that uh, you can expect to see more merchandise uh, and potentially uh variations of it moving forward very yeah. okay awesome awesome oh, yeah. oh or and like yeah even like uh, like t-shirts and lots of a lot of stuff yeah oh yeah well oh yeah let's show it uh, uh, oh, this is the this is the t-shirt that uh mr the mr here was wearing himself oh yeah uh, last last week this is the well, that's a very let me look. there you go action revolution challenge so for those who didn't know arc stood for it was an acronym for action revolution and challenge um, um and well <laughs> <laughs> Konjo is just uh, like, you know, guts. Uh, oh, guts. guts. Oh, yeah, I remember talking about the uh, last stream. Yeah. So that's a very, very cool shirt. Good. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll, we're actually, so next next week, next week's episode, here's a little shout for next week. Um, we're going to be going over a lot of new merchandise that we're going to be giving out. So uh, keep an eye out next episode. But, uh, but yeah, thank you for the question, uh, Chef Nana. Um, do we have any more uh, questions from, from chat? Oh, okay. Flare Vortex. Um, let's see. How long does the process to make three D character? What, what, how long does it take to, to process three D character models? I ask, as a current student three D animator. Oh, so, so um, I guess the question is, yeah, how how long does it? Yeah, how, how, what's the, I guess how long is it to make, or maybe just to, to create the three D model? Maybe I'm not sure about the for character models. It takes. Um Roughly like two months or three months. It depends on the character because a lot of characters have like extra extra thing, limbs and extra limbs and stuff clothing, like that. Yeah, yeah. So like Zato was very hard. It took like twice the time. As oh, Zato because uh, he has the shadow, Eddie, right? Yeah. The shadows. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that. Um, and simple, simpler characters take less time, but mm -hmm. average, I think it's like it's like uh, two months, which is I think uh, pretty long compared to normal three D uh, character making <laughs> yeah, yeah. because we have to make uh, make it in a specific way to actually make it react to the shader and Got get it. the right results. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Well, yeah. Thank you for the question, uh, Flare Vortex. Next question 
is from uh, Tim Lee one two two three. Who signed the Ark signature on the logo? Oh, I think we asked we answered this question earlier. So the logo, who signed this? Uh, it's Ambe. Ambe, who was the programmer for the original uh, Guilty Gear series. Okay. Yeah. There you go. So the person who signed the back there. Um, was well, uh, Ambe, the, the Ambe? Ambe. Ambe. Um, Ambe he was the original <laughs> designer for, for Guilty Gear. So, um, so yeah, and it, it represents, like, uh, from what I remember correctly, it, re- it represents hills, correct? No, or it's a wave. Oh, it's a, it's a wave? Yeah. Oh, I heard wrong. So it, oh, like, it's a wa- Oh, I see. Yeah. <laughs> I always thought it, lo- it looked like a face. I, th- I thought I thought it was like a, a sad face, like with with an uh, like a tentacle arm, just kind of reaching out. Because <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. there's two there's two dots. Right. So those two dots are actually a representative of eyes. See, I was not yeah, I was so not was crazy. I'm not crazy. Yeah. So yeah, it kind of looks like a. So it's like two eyes and just waves. Uh, <laughs> oh, uh, and the, right. And I guess the eyes represent uh, <laughs> looking towards the future. So oh, okay. It's sort so of like a symbolic of making sure that uh, I see, continuously I see. looks towards. Okay, I guess I heard wrong. Yeah, like I thought it was looking over hills, but it's just looking over the future, and those are waves. Right. Got it. Okay. So for those who never knew what the, the logo meant, there you go. Um, thank you uh, for the question, uh, t- Tim Lee two one two two three. Um, sh- next question is from Shadow Korosu um, for Kiryuka-san. Um, not necessarily in a fighting game, but would you consider putting yourself as a secret boss in the game? Oh, I want to fight. I want to fight Kiryuka-san. <laughs> uh, well, I mean, you know, I, I don't mind appearing in the game, but nobody is willing to make me in, in the game. So, I mean, like, even, even my doll is, like, thrown around on the ground over there, so... <laughs> so yeah, yeah um, so I it, it depends it depends on the dev guys and you know they don't want yeah, and you know six, <laughs> six months six months <laughs> anime, anime yeah. is a little bit, it was a little bit of a waste there, so. <laughs> well uh, I guess there is some kind of demand so you know um, <laughs> uh, uh, so, thank you <laughs> yeah uh, so uh, thank you uh, for the question Shadow Cross um, next question is from Nivius SF what is the possibility of a uh, what? Where did it go? What is the? Oh, here it is. Okay. What is what is the possibility of a BB Tag World Tour or something of the like in the competitive scene? Okay. Mm-hmm. So, um, as you know, there's a there's a Capcom Pro Tour. Mm-hmm. There's a Tekken mm-hmm. World Tour. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, they with, you know with the with the, um, res- the um, I guess the popularity of esports mm-hmm. and uh, you know the, the, res- the resurgence of fighting games. I feel like a lot of people are playing fighting games nowadays more than ever. Um, I think a lot of people are asking to see they they want to see their their favorite anime titles, um, you know, out there in the competitive scene. And just recently, um, I guess um, Dragon Ball is doing a competitive tour right. as well. Yeah, Ben and Uncle announced that like I think last week or two weeks ago. So, is there any plans of doing a BB Tag World Tour, or even you know, Guilty Gear Xrd or any of uh, Arc System Works uh, franchises? <laughs> I mean, now with the establishment of the U.S. office, uh, mm-hmm. we've been hosting some of the smaller uh, lo- local events uh, mm-hmm. to try and get things underway. Uh, but definitely uh, in the long run future, we definitely want to try and uh, make sort of like a not only just a BB tag, but all of our other franchises into a world, world tour event. So yeah, it's definitely in plans. Okay, cool. So yeah, it, there, there you have it. It's, uh, it's definitely in the plans, or at least they're, they're hoping to get it out there. So um, so yeah, uh, thank you so much for the question, uh, Nivius SF. Um, next question is to is from uh, Sin Shen Long. Sin Shen Long. Um, Maximilian once said that his dream would be for Arc System Works to do a Marvel fighting game with as much polish as Guilty Gear Exerd or Dragon Ball Fighters. Would you ever consider working with more properties outside Japan? Okay, so I know um, we had Kiruka-san here early, uh, mo- a couple months ago, and someone asked um, what other properties would you like to add? I mean, uh, Ruby is a Western property, right. 
And he also talked about, um, you know, Avatar The Last Airbender mm-hmm. and some other things he would be interested in. Would Marvel be something he would be interested in working with? A company he'd be work, uh, interested in working with? あの他の,あの IP ああの海外の IP を取り入れるっていう中では例えばマーベルがそういうチャンスがあるんだったらあの取り入れてみたいですかいやもちろんそういう意味ではそうですね、うんうん、そういうチャンスが来れば<笑> I mean obviously if the chance or the opportunity arise I mean definitely we would like to have a chance to dabble in it Oh let's have that dialogue I know like so you know Dragon Ball is I mean, it's an. Ad- I don't feel like Dragon Ball is an anime fighter. Even like it doesn't have the same feel as like a Guilty Gear or Blaze Blue. But obviously, it's an anim- It's based off an anime. Mm-hmm. But um, you know, playing it, it feels more of like a Marvel type game. Like, especially since it's three on three. A lot of the yeah, air combos are very similar. So I personally think, and a lot of the a lot of the community thinks, um, the FG's community thinks that you know we um, Arc would, would do a, an amazing job with Marvel. So um, yeah, uh, you know, get your again once you, uh, they're they're. They're, they want to do it, or at least you guys are open to do it if yeah. you're I mean, approached, yeah. Uh, definitely, if we have the chance. I mean, we, we're more than open years. Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. So, yeah, um, if, if Marvel knocked on Arx's, uh, on, on Kido Kasan's door, he'd definitely be open for dialogue. So, of course. There you go. Okay, of course. So, there you have it. So, yes, thank you so much uh, for that question, Shin Shen Long, and also Maximilian for, um, for saying that. Uh, And the、uh, next question goes to Mime Blade. One more. Who's the most expensive aspect of a game? Okay. So, what's the most expensive a- aspect of development、um, for, our, for our games, at least? やはりあのゲームを開発する中でコストいろいろあるんですけど、うん、中でも一番これは高いって言えるようなこう側面っていうのはありますかゲーム開発。あのーね、今,今時のゲーム本当にこう見栄えにみんな凝ってるしそういう意味でやっぱうちもやっぱそのグラフィックアートにが一番やっぱりあのコストがかかってるっちゃコストがかかってますね、うん、まあ,あのファイティングゲームはエンジンはそ,うそんなにこうここ20年同じようなエンジンをこうずっとこうなんだろう拡張してやってますけど、うん、絵はそうはいかないので、うん、やっぱ絵が一番大変ですね。Yeah. I mean, with、uh, each new generation of、uh, platforms that comes out, I mean, the specs on it gets greater at、mm-hmm. each instance. And I guess the one that costs the most out of all of it is especially the art and the graphics side of things.、Um, of course,、uh, we also have our fighting engine, but uh, it, is, uh, it is something that we can tweak along the process, whereas art. Isn't just a matter of tweak, it requires a whole rebuild and re- of course. redirection on top of it. So, I guess if, it's, if you wanted to just name one aspect of the development that costs the most, it'll have to be the art direction. I see,、yeah. art direction. And within the art di- art, artwork,、um, I think the most、uh, time consuming and、like、resource consuming is the animation because,、um, unlike、like、RPGs and stuff like that, we have a limited number of, of characters and、uh, locations, but we have A huge amount of animations for each character, and like having that, and each and every animation has to be has to fulfill a p- pr-、uh, purpose. Sp- purpose. Yes,、okay. so it's not just having any hundred ki- animations, but it has to like match the gameplay and has to also the character, y-、uh, the character well, yeah. as well.、Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I think animation is the most time, co- time consuming animation. Okay. Great. Well, thank you so much、uh, for that question,、uh, Mime, Mime Blade.、Um, uh, question for Kiruka san、um, Do you have any advice on how to manage a creative business or any awesome books to recommend for business or leadership? Wow, that's a really good question. <laughs>、uh, I, I want to ask that question. <laughs> 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 I guess, I guess the only thing I can say is to continue. I mean, just keep on going.、Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, so if anybody has good books on the other hand, just show, tell us,、uh, please let us know. <laughs> All right, well, th- there you go.、Uh, thank you so much for that, co-、uh, for that question.、Um, uh, oh, okay,、so, uh, this is noted to be the most important question, and this is from Slurp, 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 Tup. Um, can you escape from crossing fate? Crossing fate. This is a pun. <laughs> can, can, you, can you explain? No. No? No. Okay, there you go. Daniel、okay, no, said no. no. You no. cannot escape、no. from crossing fate. <laughs> so. <laughs> you have to fight it. You have to fight it. 
There you go. There's your answer. <laughs> um, oh, look who's Arc Mod is in here. You want to come in? Go. Yeah, yeah, dude. What? I already said. I already said. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, uh, Arc Mod is here. The the, the one and only um, Arc System Mod. So let's have you sit in between right here. Oh, that's okay. Yeah. Um, uh, I'm assuming uh, you got stuck in LA traffic. It was an experience. Yeah. So um, everyone say it to Ark Mod. You guys who've been watching the show probably know his title on, in the chat room. Um, so uh, so yeah, I, you're here in LA for uh, for E3. Correct. How's how's E3 for you? It's been fantastic. Awesome. Lots of great games. Cool. I mean, not as good as Cross Tag Battle. There you go. But, you know, there's been some good ones. Okay, and I have a very important question for you since you're here now. Yes. Can you escape from Crossing Fate? You can't. Okay, it's, there you go. See, it's, you in the, it's in the title of the phrase. Yeah, you, just, you, you can't. can't. You can't escape. <laughs> um, so I, I think um, you, you joined us right. Well, I, I, are we done with the, the questions, or do you have any more questions um, we're, from chat? We're done with these. Okay. <laughs> Well, uh, you came right at the end. Um, feel free. To, so we have a we have a second portion of the show. Uh, we have uh, Brett um, and as well as Apology Man coming in. Um, we're gonna take a short break. Um, but uh, Arkmod, also known as uh, as, as Matt, um, yeah. if, if you if you want to join us for the second half of the show, you'll f feel free Sounds to. Good. Um, but yeah. Um, so uh, thank you guys so much, Nuba, Jonya, and Kuduka-san. Thank you so much for for being here and asking a couple of questions. Um, and then yeah, we're gonna be taking a short break and we're gonna jump into some BB tag and we're gonna play some of the upcoming characters which will be released June 19th. So uh, yeah, we'll be back in about five or so minutes. So yeah. All right, thanks guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for having us. Yep, thank you, thank you.